Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in this video series on how to build any website with PageCloud. In today's video, we will be covering how to build a website using a PageCloud theme. When selecting a theme for your website, keep in mind that the PageCloud theme you select will serve as a starting point for your new website. This theme can be modified in any way. This means you can decide to maintain the style and layout of the existing design, or make something completely different. In this video, we will maintain the style and layout of the hair salon theme and turn it into a restaurant website. Okay, so let's go ahead and select the theme. Once you've named your theme, hit continue to jump into the editor. Before editing this theme, let's quickly explore the editor. In the bottom right corner, you'll notice the save button. PageCloud doesn't automatically save, so make sure to hit this button when you're happy with the changes you've made. To the left of the save button are the undo and redo buttons. Let's face it, we all make mistakes, so these can be very useful when building out your site. The help button connects you directly to our knowledge base, as well as our customer support specialists. We definitely recommend checking this out if you get stuck or can't find something you are looking for. In the bottom left corner, you'll find a link to your site dashboard, as well as a handy page browser that can help you quickly navigate to edit another page. The left side of the editor is reserved for the PageCloud side panel. Here you'll find tons of pre-built content that you can use while building your site, as well as the settings tab. We will be discussing both these elements later in the video. In the middle of the editor is the page section. You'll find guides on the left and right side of the page. These guides help ensure that your content is visible on all computer screens and tablets. We'd recommend keeping all written content within these guides. The last part of the editor is the editing menu. It's hidden by default and appears once something is selected. The editing menu is contextual by nature, so it offers you different options based on what's selected, like a text box, an image, or the site menu. Before building any website, it's best practice to ask yourself questions like, how many pages do I want? What will be included on each page? How do I want the pages to look? Answering these questions and laying out your content before building your site can make the process much more efficient. As we start editing this theme, a few tips to keep in mind. Using the undo button if a mistake is made. You can also use the Command-Z shortcut on the Mac or the Control-Z shortcut on a PC. Shortcuts like these can really help make the editing process faster and more enjoyable. You can use the toggle select to grab multiple objects at once. And then press and hold the Command or Control shortcut to add or remove objects from your selection. When trying to move an object by only a couple pixels, feel free to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And finally, don't forget to check out the knowledge base and chat function within the app. You can search for things like what shortcuts are available within PageCloud, or how to connect a domain. Okay, now let's get some content in here. To maintain the position and aspect ratio of an image, simply select it and hit replace. This is already looking much better. For text, double click and start typing or paste in any pre-existing copy that you have. Now let's change the color of this shape so it matches the colors on the page. Nice. Now this page is a little bit too much content for what we are going for, so let's go ahead and delete what we don't need. To help us remove the space we've just created, let's use the squeegee tool. If you ever run into a page with a lot of white space at the bottom, it's most likely because the minimum page height is too high. This can easily be fixed by clicking on Settings, Advanced, and then deleting the value under Minimum Height. Perfect. Now we could stop here, or we can continue to add elements to the page. PageCloud offers an array of options for adding in new content. For example, let's add a different image for the top section and make it a poster image behind the text. You can accomplish this with the upload button in the side panel, or by simply dragging in or copy and pasting the image onto your page. When you need to move an image behind or in front of something, like text, Use the Arrange tab to move it forwards or backwards. This effect sometimes makes the text hard to read, so let's make sure there is a strong contrast between the image and text. 
Nice. Now let's add some social media icons from the side panel. You can use the alignment tools and group functions to help speed up the process of editing similar objects. To add a link to an object, select it and click on the Link tab. To add even more functionality to your site, PageCloud integrates with over 70 popular web apps that help you add things such as videos, maps, fonts, and more. For example, if you wanted to add a YouTube video to your page, Simply copy and paste the URL, and then position it where you want it. Several video options are available under the Video tab. You can do the same for embeds like Google Maps, Eventbrite, OpenTable, MailChimp, and many more. The last thing we want to look at is the Site menu. The default Site menu is a great way to offer consistent navigation across all your pages. You can style it any way you'd like, using the editing menu. You can also create basic drop-down menus in just a few clicks. This menu automatically creates a hamburger menu for mobile devices. For more details about the mobile page builder, please check out our other videos. We'd highly recommend finishing your desktop version first before enabling the mobile builder. That's it for today. Although there are a ton of other features that we did not have time to cover, We'd recommend you explore the different tabs to discover what's possible with PageCloud. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos, our searchable knowledge base, and support team. Happy designing!